Hey boat friends, April 13th, around 530 p.m. We have a thousand footer coming in. This is gonna be a fun video because I'm sitting right here. You know I like to try new things. I'm sitting right on this ledge. Plenty of room, so I'm good, safe. But I wanted to show you what's going on here in Park Point. You can see all of the the sand that's being exposed here now with the, the melting that's occurring. Plenty of white caps, current conditions, 41 degrees. Wind uh, out of the northeast, gusts up to 37 miles per hour. So definitely we are feeling some wind. Let me get you caught up with AIS. And I was watching the American Century, thousand footer coming in off uh, Lake Superior right now, nine knots, but she was doing around 13 knots, just screaming in to Duluth. She's gonna go through the aerial lift bridge right here, make her way through the Harbor Basin. Blotnik Bridge is right here, so she's gonna hug the corner, which is Rice's Point. And then she's gonna go load uh, coal at Smet Dock right over in this area. So this is a fun ship, thousand foot vessel. I'm gonna stand up and we're gonna go walk over by the Duluth Aerial Lift Bridge. As you know, I'm in Duluth, Minnesota. For anybody that's joining, that's where I'm at. I want to show you some of the sand here on Park Point. A lot of people think of the North Shore as just a bunch of rocks on the shore. Park Point is all sand going all the way down. So it's kind of like being on a on the ocean on the East Coast. But take a look at some of these white caps out there. Legitimate wind, 37 miles per hour with the, the gusts. You can see there's some uh, water, there's some ice. It's uh, We're still in that melting process, but a week ago, I would have never been able to walk on this ledge and bring you back over to the ship just because of uh, the condition. So it's an absolute pleasure to see just uh, concrete right in front of me. No ice, nothing that, that I need to be concerned about. Still a little cool. I'm not going to complain. You know, any time that it's uh, 40 degrees plus, you're not going to hear me complain ever. I'm going to make my way through the, the, the rocks. And by the way, I'm wearing shoes for the first time coming down here without the boots. So I'm feeling confident enough with the weather conditions that I can transition to shoes. Definitely no t-shirt yet, obviously. But there are some... Uh, legitimate waves that have been forming out here in the canal let me give you a wind check give you a visual of that so you can see it's blown real hard inbound actually uh the american century has the wind pushing it forward so we'll see uh what the the captain does navigating this vessel in Give you a better shot of these waves before she uh, makes her way in. A little bit of movement. Take a look at what's going on over there on the north pier side. I'm on the south south pier. Got some people out here waiting for a thousand footer to come in. I like the American Century, great looking ship, some facts, built in 1981, owned and operated by the American Steamship Company. Her original name was a Columbia Star and that changed in 2006. Four 3,500 horsepower diesel engines. You got a legit superstructure there on the stern. You see the green gates? Those are obviously still uh, closed. They'll be opening up at some point. Well, let's see how the captain navigates through the, the canal here. Definitely feel that wind. And again, she's coming in empty, so you will see her sitting up out of the water quite a bit. 
You know I love those anchors, dual anchors right there on the, the front of the bow. Dual American Century. There you can see uh, they have the, the name on both sides at the top of the bow. And as you can tell, we have the sun on our backside. Well, let's take a look at some of these waves popping up. I'll try to keep this camera stationary. I mean, there's a good amount of wind happening, but I want you to see what's happening with these waves. There definitely is going to be some uh, action with the waves as the thousand footer comes through the canal with the wake that's going to be created against the wall. So I'll keep that right side with the wall so we can keep our eye on that. Take a look at the, the depth. Huge vessel, thousand feet in length. Coming in uh, completely empty, and uh, she will be going out at some point with uh, around uh, eighty thousand tons of. Uh, Some whistle exchange between the the captain of the AC, as I affectionately call her. Take a, a quick shot of that superstructure in the pilot house. And then there's the seagulls that are on the the back side of the vessel looking for some fish that got stunned there with the, the wake going through. Great looking ship, never gets old. I've seen her many times, but still a, a very awesome sight in person, without a doubt. And again, she's on her way over to uh, Smet Dock. It's a better uh, angle right here so we can see the, the total length of this vessel, 1,000 feet. A little bit of feedback a little bit of feedback from the the sun there on the lens but take a look at some of these waves well there you go boat friends we got to see the AC again she'll never get old easy work coming through that canal and uh, hopefully I catch her as she depart, uh, departs when she does. So, boat friends, always having fun with you. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed the video. I will see you soon.